So part of the reason this looks so of its time, um, this is based on a TV show, and it was the first, I believe, the first fully computer animated TV show. <laughs> Which is why it... Or at least that's part of the reason it looks the way it does. It was made by nerds. For other nerds. It was some real nerdy shit. <clears throat> so like it was about a computer. They leaned real hard into that. It's fun though. It's a good game. It was a good show. I need to stop trying to crouch at the start there. I really think that's lagging the game. Making those flamey effects at the start there. <clears throat> oh. Hope those shots don't kill me. Good. That at 53, I want to die at about 103. Yeah, now. That's good enough. I mean, really, I want to die between like 103 and 106, 107 ish. But anytime around there's fine. So once I get to level 4 again, there's a new strat I'd like to try out. Because if I could get that to work out consistently, that would be awesome. One of the big uh, enemy car things. I think you could manipulate it so you can jump on it and get a shortcut to the level exit. But it's gonna be tight either way. That was a good first level. That was a very good first level, hell yeah. I mean, it did help that I basically landed on the third tear, <laughs> mending it. That was kind of a crazy way to get that. Still a 205, huh? Must be a very low 205 at this point. Oh, I wanted to, uh, fix my splits layout. Hey guys, if I reset this run, remind me to, uh, to change my splits. There's something I wanted to do to it. I want to find some kind of layout that, uh... Okay. I want to find some kind of layout that shows time save per split. Because I've never really had that before, and I would actually kind of like to know that for this run. And it's like, the only run that I actually care about that statistic. Bob, please hit the things. Please hit the things I'm pointing at. Okay, killed it at about 320. I want to die at about 3.30-ish. Um, yeah. Yeah, I should be good now. Anytime. Cool. Time save, time save. But yeah, just show, like, you know... I don't know, I'm thinking, like, maybe have... Because here's the thing, I do like comparing to best six as my main comparison there. But maybe have another column for either PB or for, uh, I don't know, just time save from PB to this. Like have another deltas column. Except instead of current run to best segs, it'd be like PB to current timing method or something. Or PB to best segs. I don't know. I haven't fully thought it through. Yeah. 
I wouldn't mind having it, um... Just, like, at the bottom, showing. This game is too quiet. It is... well, it's fairly quiet. I don't know how it is in the mix right now on my stream, but I did intentionally turn down the sound effects a bit, and I turned up the, uh... the music and voices. implemented two new functions to beep bo boop bop Very cool. What are they? And will we hate all of them? Enemy oh, anyway, I was gonna say, I, um... I thought about trying... to, uh... just put in... There we go. A, like, time save line lower on the splits. Like, down around where I say I've previous segment compared to best. Like Have, like, a current segment time Keep save. I feel like that's already getting really crowded down there. Man, because. Yep. Yeah, a high command is good. Enemy here? Must be below me or something. Warning. Incoming chairs. Evacuate area. There isn't really a command per se. Oh boy. I'm excited, J-Ro. I can't wait to hear it. Nope, what am I doing? I need to death abuse. Probably around like how I guess. Yeah. Surprise. Oh boy. this out right. I did not pay attention to when I mended the first tear. I think I got it okay though. This should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. There it is. Good, good, good. Just fine. Red vid window accessible. <laughs> Level complete. That was really good, actually. Oh my god. Guys. I just golded all three of the first three splits. Like, I run this game for a while, that shouldn't... That's not a thing that normally happens. Hey, well, you're about in my channel? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I think... By shooting that car as it went by, I should see it later and be able to get it, get a jump on it. Oh. Oh right. Well, there it is, J. Row. Oh, thank God. 
Why did you make your bot a dad? Why? <laughs> no, that's pretty great. <laughs> I'm actually very, very much on board with that. <laughs> I suspect Golf is also going to think it's hilarious. Yep, grab that. Okay. Oh, crap. Did I miss it? Yeah, I don't think it worked. Not this time. I guess it's more than just, uh, more than just shooting the car. I need to actually get it to lock on to me somehow. Username just got dad joked. Nice. Oh my god. Brilliant. Troops just flew by here. Be careful, Bob. Does it work for phrasing it differently than just I apostrophe M? Like if you were to say I am, I don't know, I am impressed or something? Or does it need to be I'm? Warning incoming chairs. Evacuate area immediately. Okay. You've got a range of them, though. Hello, car. Okay. Just gonna ride that for a second, sure. Gonna do a big skip a Rooney around a dialogue trigger. And then I'm gonna do the same big skip a Rooney going the other way. Just like that. <clears throat> I land on that health perhaps, because I kinda need it. Yes, good. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've done that. Not the end of the world. Mostly just caught me off guard. Yeah, I gotta wait a cycle for this, that's fine. Although if I miss this jump, I die. So that's not as fine. Usually I get a couple of tries at it. Ooh. Level six, nice. That does I am and I am awesome. Oh, you should also do all caps. I am. Accessible. Level 
complete. I feel very dumb. I was about to say, uh... Hey, why wasn't that a gold? I thought I did that level really well. Totally forgot I fell off the ground and had to pull myself back up. Oops. Also, the third tear could have gone a little better. I could have saved a couple seconds there. Must be deleted before the tear can be mended. Bob, please get closer to it. Please stop missing it with all of your bullet shots. I'd really like to go for killing the boss early, but, uh, I mean, I'm going for it anyway, there's no reason not to. No. I missed a rocket anyway, but even if I didn't, a lot of those bullet shots were missing, so it wasn't gonna happen. The Meg ABC oh. won't be a problem anymore. Back to level 7. Back to Beverly Hills. By the way, just for a little bit of context for anyone watching who's not obsessively familiar with my reboot runs. Uh, so I'm comparing against Summer Best right now, which is around a 45-30, or 45-20 even. Forgot I improved it a bunch. Uh, my PB is a 49-02. So I have a lot of time that I can lose and still PB by quite a bit. I had a run last night where I lost around a minute on one level and came like 12 seconds off of PB, I think. Yeah, and it's also, I'm the only runner. Another guy made the SRC page a long time ago and he did a couple of ILs but no full game runs. First try, hell yeah. Okay, let's see if I can gulp this split. This is actually going really well. Um, but yeah, there are no other full game runners. Oh boy, let's see if I can- Oh, I wanted that life. Let's see if I can not die, because that would- Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely dead. I need this health. I've never grabbed that health before, but I absolutely needed it. Jesus Christ. God damn. That was still a gold. Even detouring for that, like, five seconds. Oh my god. That was a good level, though. Other than grabbing the health at the end, that was really good. So every level, except the boss levels, follow the same general pattern. Uh, there are key cards that I collect, like the one at the top here. 
You can see how many there are in the level in the bottom left corner. Uh, and then three tears will spawn. Those are the big electricity ball things I'm dealing with. And for every level, I need to mend the three tears and collect all of the keys. And then there are boss levels. Sometimes bosses have tears you need to deal with. Some bosses, you just fight them and kill them, and then the level ends. It's a pretty simple game, all overall. What is Hundo? There is no Hundo. I've thought about it before. Uh, about doing, like, an all-collectibles run or something. They're not really collectibles, but, like, um... There are weapon upgrades and secondary weapons you can grab. There are also health and ammo pickups, which are these things. Um, but yeah, the way the run is right now... There are a bunch of... Secondary weapons, especially, that you don't pick up because they're not very good or useful. And so having a category where you actually get all of those, I think, would be interesting. Uh, the three primary weapons you have... Come on. There's the pistol, which is not very good. Uh, the blaster, which is the main weapon I use through almost all of the game. And you can charge blaster shots to make them stronger. And then the rockets, which are much stronger than the blaster, but super inaccurate. Frequently, you'll see when I'm fighting bosses, I'll be shooting a bunch of rockets and they're just plowing straight into the ground or into walls or whatever. Um, each of the primary weapons has three, like, levels that you can get each time you pick up another upgrade for it. Oh, come on. So the, uh, oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, I'm hitting my head on the ceiling and just failing these jumps. Um, anyway. Uh, they have three levels for... Each time you pick up an upgrade, it'll level it up. I already have the pistol and blaster upgrades. Or, the pistol and the blaster upgraded to level 3. But there are more upgrades around, they just don't upgrade it more. 3 is the max. And so there could be a category where you get all of those. That's the other thing I've thought about. Bob. Bob, not cool. Oh, that was rough. I'm gonna lose a chunk of time on this level. My movement has not been very good. I also feel like the lag has been worse than normal, but that might just be my imagination. Right, 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 come on. Excellent. And then I can grab more health right over here. And we're good. Let's just do this. I think I'll be good. Yeah. No need to wait for that bridge to form. Please get in there, Bob. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Ah, oh, damn. You can get through all of these in one cycle. It's just hard. Am I losing time yet? Almost. I guess I'm not losing as much time as I was worried about. Yeah, I am losing a bit. I was worried about losing like 15 seconds or something. But no, that's fine.
uh, in the last level, I picked up one of the very few secondary weapons that I'm going to use. You can see in the upper left, there's the little, I don't know what you'd call that, like a cancel icon. That's the mending beam. Uh, in the last level, I picked up this, which is the... That's not right. There we go. This is where I'm going. Uh, this icon is the antivirus, which when you hit one of those turrets with it, makes them on your side, they'll fight for you instead of shooting at you. And the turrets aren't that strong, so it's not usually worthwhile to, like, try to get them to fight other enemies for you. But it does get them out of your way, which is how I use it. Because they can be kind of annoying, and there's a spot at the end of this level in particular where there's a few of them that are all in your way and shooting at you, and it would be easier if you just didn't have to worry about them like this. Also, this platforming is difficult, and I messed it up in every run I did the other day. So, hopefully I get all four of these keys without too much hassle. Those are the two harder sections, though... Good. One more. Excellent. Very nice. Ooh, Lee. Okay, yes, very nice. That's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. Considering I went the wrong way for a minute there, that's not bad at all. This is a good run so far. The hardest levels are still coming up, but this is not a bad start at all. This boss is really weird. Um, like I said earlier, the rockets are the strongest weapons. Um, and so ideally... You would want to just spam rockets in it like I just started doing there. But at the start of the fight... Um... Uh-oh. I hate this boss so much. At the start of the fight, if you try hitting it with rockets, uh, it, like, protects itself and won't take any damage. And so you just chew through your own ammo if you do that. So instead you need to hit it with blaster shots for a bit. And then it'll do, like, a big scream. There it is. And now you can hit it with rockets. I don't know why they made it work this way. There's like hardly a tell for that. This is a problem. I shouldn't be taking this much damage. Like honestly, that is ridiculous. God damn it. That's a hard thing about this game is damage seems variable at times. Like, damage you take seems variable. Sometimes you try to die, and things just manage to somehow not kill you for like 30 seconds shooting straight at you. Sometimes it's like, oh no, you got hit twice, that's all your health. There is a cat on me. What is she doing? Why isn't she making up her mind about sitting down? There she goes. Good little kitty. Um, there's an extra life in this level that I'm gonna pick up because I kinda need it now. I normally wouldn't, but it's not really out of the way, so I might as well. Oh, that's another category that I think would be fun, is just all extra lives. Because I think there's one or two in every non-boss level. And some in boss levels as well. But maybe that would just go along with an all-collectibles all category. 
fuck. Don't do that, Bob. There you go. Life should be right here. Yeah. I'm fine. Next tear doesn't spawn for a little bit, so I got time. I'll be up early tomorrow, all good tooper. Oh. You have a good night, man. Thank you for stopping by. Let's get Cat on cam a bit. There she is. There's the good little kitty. I don't need that health pickup. I don't know why I was going that way. Instinct, I guess. I usually do grab it. Man, that is too bad I died on that boss. That is not a death I usually have. Like, it makes sense to me if I lose, like, a minute in Floating Point Park, but... Got 30 seconds on Beverly Hills boss, that just sucks. You know? Especially after calling, like, what was it, four splits in the first ten levels? Ridiculous. I can't believe, actually, that Sub 45 sum of best is so close. If I could do the fast strats on level 17, it might get me there on its own. Also, this is a very good example of the kind of boss where uh, just shooting rockets at it, you'll see how many of them just don't home in at all. Hello. Wanna... Okay. Really should have finished the first phase of the boss before that. I mean, I commented on the rockets, but that was significantly worse than usual. There it goes. Then for terror, please. Thank you. Okay, this next level is the hardest one. Floating Point Park. This is the kind of level where if you make a mistake early on, uh, you've lost the timing for a bunch of cycles. And so, what appears to be like a 5 second loss ends up being like a 40 second loss. My tornado tear will obliterate the park. <laughs> oh, God, that was lucky. I should not have made it onto there. Good. The nice thing about this kind of level is, as you go through it, you get less stressed out because each mistake costs you less and less time. Reboot is filmed on location with the zeros and ones of law enforcement. Yeah. 
Go. Also, I'm going to use the antivirus here again. Um, just to... Just because these turrets take a lot of hits if you try to kill them normally. And these turrets tend to be just very much in your way. Wow, I really got here before the tear spawned? That was very fast. Good. And then there's just one more branch of the level. Which is the hardest branch to get through, but still, this was good so far. It's just nice. And this level going nice does not always happen. Please, please don't die. Oh my god. That was amazing. Is this gonna gold? I know my floating point part gold is actually pretty good. It's just that my average is terrible. This might gold. Damn. Hell yeah. a good run. Shit. I hope I don't throw it away in the last few levels. That was the hardest level, but the rest of the levels are still hard. I mean, the bosses are easy, but the actual platforming levels all have opportunities for you to die, so... Not quite over yet. Please, Bob. Hello? Oh my god, what is this? There it is, okay. I guess a lot of my rockets missed. Just a lot more than I realized. Okay, this next level is the second hardest one in the run. Hopefully, hopefully it'll go okay. Six. This is also the last level where I do a death abuse. Hey, shoot me a bunch. doing good. <laughs> PB is a 49. This could easily be a 47. get a little bit less lag here. Did I forget a key? What? I thought I should be at three right now. That's horrible. Warning. 
I did. Even I know which one I forgot. Those. Was... I made a really stupid mistake. <laughs> it won't. It won't take too long. I just totally forgot to grab one. It's just right over here. This is the first key I'm supposed to grab. Oh, uh, okay. Not the worst thing in the world, but I wish I didn't hit that. had PB on the mind, was not thinking about what I was supposed to be doing. There we go. Not bad, though. <sighs> yeah, minute and a half ahead of PB. Again, next two levels are not free. And honestly, even the bosses are not free. I'd like them to be, but they're really not. It would not be totally right to treat them like a freebie. No! That's why this level is not free. These jumps are weird and don't always work. Yeah, that's a pretty big time loss. There we go. Please get up there. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Hopefully I don't lose too much time from that then. Oh, fuck! Oh, come on, man. How do I even get up here? Shit. All the time I've run this game, I don't think I've ever actually failed that jump. This may be a candidate for new worst seg. Oh god, I thought I wasn't gonna get that jump either. I came dangerously close to failing it. necessarily need that life, but I'd like it. Make things much easier. Yeah, that was really bad. Can still be a 47, but it's harder now. <laughs> Fuck this level. That's why I want to grab that life in the last one. Um, here's the thing about this game, by the way. If I run out of lives in game over, that's the end of the run. Like, it just kicks you back to the main menu. There is no go back to last save or anything.
Yeah, dying at the start there sucks. Just gets a lot of timing off. But that's okay. I can still do well. Come on. Okay, so I should grab this at about 35. I'll go now. That is not an exact science. I might have gone. Might have gone a little late. That's better than going too early. Wasn't even too late. That was like perfect. Cool. Cool. Well, that's the last level to like seriously worry about. So yeah, as long as I don't totally screw up the end here, this should PB pretty comfortably. 47 is still not a guarantee. There's a lot of easy time loss on these two bosses at the end. Silicon Tour. Mostly because you are kind of relying on rocket RNG, which, as I've said many times, is not reliable. Also, sometimes Megabyte chews through your health really fast, but you gotta be careful. Hello, Megabyte? There you go. Not bad, not Game's bad. Up, Time to end test. Okay, final boss. Let's go. There we go. I got her. The record! Huzzah! <laughs> World record, hell yeah. Hey, Kastuka. What happened? Where's Enzo? Let's get out of here. Well, 46 is definitely something I can do. And honestly, even a 45 I think would be not too unreasonable a goal for me. Especially if I start trying to implement the faster route on level 17. Because yeah, I think that was like a 12 or 15 second time save. Just right there. Um... Let's see, I golded Floating Point Park again, and I was getting to tears before they spawned. So I feel like that was about as fast as that can go, but I suspect there could be another second or two saved on that, just from good platforming to the end of the level. Level 7 can go better. Yeah, this was really good, though. This was the run where I, uh... Yeah, I golded my first three splits. Three, four... Five golds in this run. Nice. Yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, 
Uh, I think... Sorry, I'm just catching up on this code real quick. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna practice level 17 real quick. I kept telling myself I wouldn't want to, uh... To do this route and runs just because of how dangerous it is and how it's right at the end of the run. But I mean, if I can get it consistent, that's a pretty nice time save. Warning: Incoming ships. Evacuate area immediately. Does our intrepid hero Bob have the right stuff? Oh, I wonder if I should be grabbing that key for at the end instead. Yeah. Guardian, Good ol' this route. Oh, I thought I... whatever, it doesn't matter. Fuck. Nope. Bob, there will be no second chance. Mainframe is ruined if you can't save us now. Warning. Incoming chairs. Evacuate area immediately. See, it's just this bit of platforming I don't go for because these jumps are so hard. I wonder if somebody else ran this game and we started trading the record back and forth how long it would be before one of us actually starts using this route. Warning. You know, actually, with this route, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this tear first. For that key. I'll go ahead and grab the key now. And then, yeah, you could do this even faster by including a death abuse, but that's... That is getting to madness. I want to do this. I guess... Theoretically, I can just grab this now. And I should, should be able to just get to the end of the level without invincibility anyway. But that is hard. In particular, it just involves a pretty stupid jump. This one. But it worked. Neat. That's theoretically an IL record. But... I don't care. I'm not I'm not doing that in runs. There were too many jumps that I only barely made. I also wanted to see level four. There was something. I wanna see if I can't figure out the uh the enemy car manipulation I want. I need to get it to, like, properly target me. Sector two, site e. And I hoped I'd be able to do that by just kind of shooting at it a little bit, but that doesn't seem to be enough. Hey, you. Yeah, you turned around. Is that all I needed? Try to finish the level and see if that does it. Okay. 
came very close to not catching that cycle. Shit. Uh, that's fine, actually. As long as I don't fail to jump again, I should be good on time. does appear to be in a different place. So maybe this worked? Maybe? Reboot is filmed on location with the zeros and ones of law enforcement. So what I want to happen... You see, I just grabbed the box gun. And what that does is you hit an enemy with it, and it freezes them in place. And so, the police cruiser should be, like, coming through that doorway right about now. And I would hit it with a box gun shot and freeze it. But it's still not there. Hello. There we go. And then, like, if it were here at a convenient time, I'll just wait for it to show up. It's not like I'm in a run or anything. There it is. You would jump on it, and then jump over here, and then jump over here to the exit area. Like, it requires some tricky platforming still, but it's... If it was there immediately, it would be quite a bit faster than the other route I've been using. But... It requires you to manipulate that car so it's in a different place than normal. And I've had it so that it's close to where I want it. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what causes it to do that. Anyway. 